What is it, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about variables in Python. Now, if you've been enjoying this series so far and you're excited to build a chatbot with me using Python, be sure to subscribe and like the video. But let's get right into it. So, programming languages offer a method of storing data for reuse. If there is a greeting we want to present, a date we want to re reuse, or a user ID we want to remember, we can create a variable which can store a value. In Python, we can assign variables by using the equal sign. So if you have the message string, and then we have the equal sign, and then it, it prints in whatever it is. So in the, in, the, in the example above, we stored the message hello there in a variable called message string. Variables can't have spaces or symbols in their names other than the underscore. They can't begin with numbers, but they can have numbers after the first letter. For example, cool variable underscore five is okay. It's no coincidence we, cre we call these creatures variables if a context of a program changes, we can just update the variable and perform the same logical same uh, same logical process on it. So above, we created a variable called message string, assigning a welcome message, and then printing the greeting. Then we update it to a departure message and print that out. So go ahead and update the variable meal to reflect each meal of the day before we print it. Okay, so I will say that variables are kind of like containers. So you basically just store uh, whatever you need to just reuse um, over and over. So for example, if you have first meal is an English muffin, second meal will have Let's say we'll have a uh, s sandwich. And then for example, for dinner, we can set it to, we can set it to chicken. You see how it just keeps updating? Like even though I just changed the meal variable there, but yeah. That's going to do right here for variables. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.